Hey, what's going on you guys? Welcome to Mass Effect Legendary Edition. We are going to be focusing on Mass Effect 1, even though it has all three games in it. Uh, this is a brand new Let's Play. When I was in California, I was shown this game for about three hours or so, just to see what I had missed in 2007. And I thought it was pretty cool, so I felt like recording it. Welcome to Alliance Military Database. Classified information requested. Establishing secure connection. Secure connection confirmed. All right, we are not going to be John Shepard because men's bodies are gross and Jane Shepard is pretty. Access your profile. Profile reconstruction complete. You can also create your own character apparently, but I'm I'm fine with Jane Shepard. We're going to play on casual because I don't know what I'm doing. Subtitles on for those who like those. And level scaling, I don't really think matters much, but... Well, we'll try the new mode, I guess. Squad power, just leave that on default, because... Lord knows, I don't know. Well, what about Shepard? Earthborn, but no record of her family doesn't have one. She was raised on the streets, learned to look out for herself. She saw her whole unit die on a coos. She could have some serious emotional scars. Every soldier has scars. Shepard's a survivor. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. I'll make the call. In the year 2148, explorers on Mars discovered the remains of an ancient spacefaring civilization. In the decades that followed, these mysterious artifacts revealed startling new technologies enabling travel to the furthest area. Blah, blah, stars. The basis of this incredible technology was a force that controlled the very fabric of space and time. They called it the greatest discovery in human history. The civilizations call it Mass Effect. to rush through that dialogue. The Arcturus Prime relays in range. Initiating transmission sequence. Commander. We are connected. Calculating transit mass and destination. The relay is hot. Acquiring approach vector. All stations secure for transit. Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. You're overreacting. You always expect the worst. Well, bad feelings are an occupational hazard. But we don't go anywhere unless there's a good reason, so... What are we doing here? Joker! Status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. 
Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the calm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? I heard. I'm on my way. <laughs> is it me or does the Captain always sound a little pissed off? Only when he's talking to you, Joker. All right, so the cool thing about this game is it's one of those games where your choices matter. So you, as you notice, we had a little bit of a dialogue choice there. It didn't really affect much in that situation, but uh, I like that idea. So there's replay value here. Why doesn't this open? I know it does open. Maybe that's later. He wouldn't take orders from a Spectre. Not his choice, Doc. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. The captain said he'd meet me here. He's on his way. I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. I wouldn't know. I've never been there. But you know of it. It's become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Why are you asking? Do you know something? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. I knew it. Is someone gonna fill me in, Captain? We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. Why the secrecy? There must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. What else can you tell me? This is Big Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. You sound worried. Are we expecting trouble? I'm always expecting trouble. There's more, Shepard. Nihilus isn't just here for the beacon. He's also here to evaluate you. I should have known. Guess that explains why I bump into him every time I turn around. The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. Not many could have survived what you went through on Akuz. You showed a remarkable will to live, a particularly useful talent. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. I assume this is good for the Alliance. Earth needs this, Shepard. We're counting on you. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden Prime. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Get down! We are under attack, taking heavy casualties! I repeat, heavy casualties! We can't! Get evac! They came out of nowhere! We need... Everything cuts out after that. No comm traffic at all. It just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold the 38.5. Status report. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. 
A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Elenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Engaging stealth systems. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. Ready and able, sir. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck! We are approaching drop point two. Ship perimeter secure, Commander. All right, so this is more of the gameplay here. There's a third-person shooter. The blue bar is your shields, the red bar is your health. Otherwise, it plays pretty much like any other shooter. The screen shakes when you run, which is a little bit weird, but I think there's a mod to fix that. And this has something in it, I think. Upgrade kit. Shield battery and first aid interface. Yeah, I'll sort through the inventory on my own time, because it's kind of a mess. So probably between episodes, you might see my armor change or something. I don't remember where to go. Like I said, I only played about like two or three hours of this game. And most of it was sitting through dialogue, so... Oh yeah, you could switch weapons for your squad by holding a left bumper and using the right stick. I'll stick with the pistol for now. Not Jenkins. His only purpose was to be the first one to die. All targets. Rip right through his shields. We're at a chance. We can't help him now. Sometimes Marines die. The rest of us just have to carry on. We still have to find that beacon. Aye, aye, mate. All right, so we got Caden Alenko. The other guy's dead, so I hope you didn't like him. Where are we? Okay, here we go. Medi gel is needed to heal injured squad members. Omni gel can be used to bypass decryption. Electronic challenges. Both are just acquired. Yeah, whatever you acquire from your kills is given to you right away. Like how we just got gold and experience. Or credits, not really gold. Burned our buildings here, Shepard. A lot of bodies. I'm gonna check it out. I'll try to catch up with you at the dig site. It's telling me we leveled up. I don't know if we actually did or not, though. Sometimes it's easy to miss that. Yeah, you can assign to attack certain things. Because at all times you have one or two people following you. So your squad mates can do stuff. But like I said, I only played three hours, so I don't know all the details of it yet.
Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. He the one who charged your man. You okay? Are you wounded, Williams? A few scrapes and burns. Nothing serious. The others weren't so lucky. Oh, man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Any idea what kind of enemy we're facing? I think they're Geth. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. Join us. We could use your help, Williams. Aye, aye, ma'am. It's time for payback. Move out! All right, so we lost one guy, but we just got Paragon plus two. Oh yeah, we get spent every time you get a new person, you got to spend talent points. What do we got on the? Okay. Let's take a look. Oh yeah, we did level up. We have three points to spend. We're gonna put it all on charm because charm unlocks more dialogue choices and could actually unlock some better stuff. So that's what we want. And then like everybody else, you can auto level up unless, well, actually, Ashley is very much the same as us. So she doesn't matter. We'll auto level her. But Caden has this decryption thing. So we want to max that out first. And electronics too, but that's not unlocked yet. So I guess just whatever. But hopefully upgrading charm this early will have some benefits to it. Yeah, you can either make your dialogue choices be Paragon or Renegade or somewhere in between. And Renegade is basically you don't care about anything or anyone. You just do things to do things. Paragon is like basically choosing all the right choices the whole time, which is what I'm going to try to aim for. Oh, X is throw a grenade. I was trying to figure that out in California, and I... I must have missed that prompt. Hide, take cover behind the rock. What's going on here? There we go. I see your kneecap. Or your thigh. It's not doing anything, though. Now, whenever we're on casual, it doesn't matter. All right, what do we got in this crate? Sniper rifles, one's rank two, one was rank one, so we'll mark the one as junk. This is the dig site. The beacon was right here, it must have been moved. By who? Our side or the Geth? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. We make for the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. Change of plan, Shepard. There's a small spaceport up ahead. I want to check it out. I'll wait for you there. Alrighty. Looks like they hit the camp hard. It's a good place for an ambush. Keep your guard up. Oh, these things are a pain. I should probably switch weapons. Oh god, they're still alive. What did the Geth do to them? Basically like a mix of zombies and something else. Up 
upgrade kit. Some armor and stuff, not too bad. Like I said, I'll sort through all that stuff on my own time. Because uh, it's kind of cumbersome and takes like five minutes to sort through all the inventory menus. So I feel like that could be something after I say goodbye for the episode or whatever. Oh yeah, door encryption. So this is like this, this a weird puzzle thing. Um, oh wait, maybe this one's automatic. Oh. Maybe it's different than what I was expecting to pop up. I think I was supposed to do something, but yeah, now, now, now that I failed, I need Omnigel to try again. And I don't have enough. That's not required for the mission, is it? I can't remember. Saren. Nihilus. This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The Council thought you could use some help on this one. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. Zoinks! Gun overheated, melee attack. I don't know if I lost, yeah, I think I lost a little bit of health there, but it regenerates. I don't know why I can't decrypt this thing yet. Maybe, are we still in combat? All right, let's see. Maybe I have to press buttons or something. Oh yeah. Y, Y, A. That's new. Everybody stay calm out there. We're coming out. We're not armed. Is it safe? Are they gone? We took care of them. Those things were crawling all around the shed. They would have found us for sure. We owe you our lives. Ah, uh, I still can't believe it. When we saw that ship, I thought it was all over. It showed up right before the attack. I knew it was trouble the second I saw it. So we made a break for the sheds. I have to go. Hey, Cole, we're just a bunch of farmers. These guys are soldiers. Maybe we should give them the stuff. Jeez, Blake, you've got to learn when to shut up. You should come clean, pal. You have something to tell me, Cole? Some guys at the spaceport were running a small smuggling ring. Nothing major. In exchange for a cut of the profits, we let them store packages in our sheds. Like what? What kind of packages? I found a pistol. Figured it would come in handy if those things came back. You'll probably get more oh, we got a blue choice. Is that all? That's from our charm. We're risking our lives to save this colony. You sure there's nothing else in here that could help us out? Yeah, there's one more thing. I was going to sell it after this was over, but you probably deserve it more than I do. Who's your contact at the spaceport, Cole? What's his name? He's not a bad guy. I don't want to get him in trouble. He may know Besides, something. I'm not a snitch. He might have something to do with this whole attack, Cole. We need his name. It's important. Yeah, okay, you're right. His name's Powell. Works the docks at the spaceport, if he's still alive. I have to go. Good luck. We got Paragon plus two for that, and a Stinger pistol and combat sensor. Okay. Stinger pistol is level two, so it's probably better than whatever I've got equipped right now. Electronic skill too low to investigate the storage locker. Yeah, that would be Caden, but he didn't. Electronics wasn't unlocked yet for him. 
Oh, did we already get all the guys? Commander, it's Nihilus. A Turian? You know him? He's a Spectre. He was with us in the normal. Something's moving over behind those crates. Wait! Don't! Don't shoot! I'm one of you! I'm human! What are you doing sneaking around back there? I am sorry, I was hiding from those creatures. My name's Powell. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. What happened? I need to know how Nihilus died. The other one got here first. He was waiting when your friend showed up. He, he called him Saren. I, I think they knew each other. Your friend seemed to relax. He let his guard down. And Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. What about the beacon? We were told a Prothean beacon was brought to the spaceport. What happened to it? It's over on the other platform. Probably where that guy Saren was headed. He hopped on the cargo train right after he killed your friend. I knew that beacon was trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up. Then the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I hadn't been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. Cole mentioned you. You're Cole's contact here on the docks. For the smuggling ring. What? No! I mean, what does it matter now? So I'm a smuggler, who cares? My supervisor's dead, the entire crew's dead. It doesn't matter now, does it? Smuggle any weapons? Anything hidden nearby that we could use against the Geth? A shipment of grenades came through last week. Nobody notices if a few small pieces go missing from the military orders. You greedy son of a bitch! We're out here trying to protect your sorry ass, and all you can think about is how you can rip us off? I never thought you'd actually need those grenades. Who'd want to attack Eden Prime? We're just a bunch of farmers. How was I supposed to know? Hand them over. Just give me the grenades. They're yours. Take them. My smuggling days are over, I swear. You should make amends. A lot of Marines died here, Powell. Those grenades could have come in handy. If I were you, I'd think of some way to make it up to them. Yeah, uh, okay. There is something else I was saving. Could be worth a fortune. Experimental technology, top of the line. Take it. I don't need it. I didn't want anyone to get hurt. Really, I'm sorry. We need to find that beacon before it's too late. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I, I, I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. High explosive grenade upgrade. All right. So yeah, I'm pretty much always going to choose the blue option if it's there because it's... Because it's Paragon, is what I was saying. And that's what we're gonna basically be focusing on. Yeah, it's teaching me about the power wheel, which is something I haven't really messed with at all, so... Uh, bear with me if I don't use it as frequently as I probably should. Sniper rifle. Where, why do I always, always do that? I think it's the other stick to select weapons. It would make more sense to me if it was. Sniper rifle overheated. That's the one thing I don't like, but there's no ammo, so that's cool. Oh, it's up there. What are they shooting at? Where? Oh, okay. I'm having some trouble here. There we go. Jeez. Medi gel. Something tells me on casual difficulty we're probably never gonna have to use Medi gel. Stupid overheating gun. Not in the middle of a fight. Uh, 
All right, I think we're good. Train controls activate. Set the charges. Destroy the entire colony. Leave no evidence that we were here. Demolition charges. The Geth must have planted them. Hurry! We need to find them all and shut them down. No crap, Ashley. guy I was with in California was saying that Ashley was uh, pretty annoying so maybe we'll discover that on our own if we take the time to talk to her in between missions and stuff. with all my shielding. That shield's absorbing the weight. Radar's jammed. Geth sniper? I don't think so, pal. Radar's not jammed anymore. Must have been on that one guy. That's all the charges. Now what? That's the thing. Finding your way around this place is tricky. Like the main hub? I have no idea where to go in that place. Level 2 armor in that mix of stuff, so maybe, maybe we have better armor on right now. On us, I mean, not equipped. I think that's everybody. Let's do this. Normandy, the beacon is secure. This is amazing. Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have activated it. Roger, Normandy. Standing by.
air crud, some might say. Apparently, whoever goes up to the beacon first is different depending on whether or not you pick Jane Shepard or John Shepard. We identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime, the Normandy, a human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. Doctor? Dr. Chakwas. I think she's waking up. Anybody else think Jane Shepard looks a little bit like uh, Joanna Dark? You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? What happened? How did I end up here? How long was I out? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. What about the beacon? Where's the beacon now? What happened to it? The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. And the blast knocked you cold. Williams and I had to carry you back here to the ship. Was I hurt? What's the damage, Doctor? Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Science typically associated with intense dreaming. Not a dream, a vision. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. A death, destruction, nothing's really clear. Hmm, I better add this to my report. It may... Oh, Captain Anderson. How's our XO holding up, Doctor? Well, all the readings look normal. I'd say the commander's going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? I'm fine. I'll live. I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Geth are invading. The Council's going to... I did us. my job. The Geth would have wiped out the whole colony if I hadn't stopped them. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren, that other Turian. Saren's a specter, one of the best, a living legend. But if he's working with the Geth, it means he's gone rogue. A rogue specter's trouble. Saren's dangerous, and he hates humans. He wanted the beacon. He didn't come to Eden Prime because he hates humans. You're right. Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how. I don't know why. But it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. A vision? A vision of what? Uh, war? I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. What will we say? What are we gonna tell them? I had a bad dream? We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology? Blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction? Whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation, his politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the Beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. I'll stop him. No. I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a specter. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the Council on our side. 
Expose him. We prove Saren's gone rogue and the Council will revoke his Spectre status. I'll contact the Ambassador and see if he can get us an audience with the Council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the Citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. All right. So we have some new vocabulary here. I'm not going to bother talking to Caden. So we we have specters, which are high-ranking officials in the council, of which Saren, the bad guy, is one of them. Nihilus was one, but he was killed by Saren. And that's really all we need to know right now. Sometimes this sci-fi stuff can get a little convoluted, so you got to take the time to make sure you understand what's going on. Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. sizes and everything. Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying you need firepower, too. Look at that monster. Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side, then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy, requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. Clearance granted. You may begin your approach. Transferring you to an Alliance operator. Roger, Alliance Tower. My dad would probably really like this game because it's just got all like the cool sci-fi stuff that he likes. This is an outrage! The Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony? The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Saren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action! You don't get to make demands of the Council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Saren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime, in case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Saren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. It's the truth. Saren's a threat to every human colony out there. If they don't stop him, I will. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. That's Saren's fault, not hers. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. And that's why I hate politicians. That guy does seem kind of stupid. His voice is dumb. All right, I have no idea where we are. This is the Citadel. We can decrypt this computer. I don't know. I don't really care about reading all this stuff. 
Yeah, on the PC, the uh, decryption was a whole different kind of puzzle. That's why it threw me off at first. Can we fast travel? Even though we technically haven't been anywhere yet? Citadel Tower. I guess so. This is where we gotta be. Saren's hiding something. Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the council. Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. Commander Shepard, Garrus Vicarian. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. Come across anything I should know about? Saren's a specter. Most of his activities are classified. I couldn't find anything solid. But I know he's up to something. Like you humans say, I feel it in my gut. I think the Council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. Yeah, so that Garrus guy can be a friend later on. Not too far from now. Who the heck is that? Oh, it looked like the ambassador guy for a minute. There's lots of side quests, and I don't know where half of them are, but we'll see what happens. The hearing's already started. Come on. The Geth attack is a matter of some concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow Spectre and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. That was you! You're the one who destroyed the beacon, then you tried to cover it up. Shift the blame to cover your own failures. Just like Captain Anderson, he's taught you well. But what can you expect from a human? See, he hates us. Saren despises humanity. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that. That's not his decision! Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor, and mine. Quit protecting him. Saren's hiding behind his position as a Spectre. You need to open your eyes. What we need is evidence. So far, we've seen nothing. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? What's the point? You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. This meeting is adjourned. It was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the Council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. 
We need to deal with Saren ourselves. As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the Executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. I won't waste my time with that loser. You won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. I'll take care of it. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's Den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wards. Maybe there's another way to find evidence against Saren. You should talk to Barla Vaughn over in the financial district. Rumor has it he's an agent for the Shadow Broker. The Shadow Broker? An information dealer. Buys and sells secrets to the highest bidder. I've heard Barla Vaughn's one of the top representatives. He might know something about Saren, but his information won't come cheap. I should go. Good luck, Shepard. I'll be over in the Ambassador's office if you need anything else. Paragon plus two. We're making the right choices, I guess. Uh, now is the question of how to get around this citadel. This is the main hub, and it's so confusing. Oh, yeah, this guy. This is a side quest. That guy's up to something. Oh, no, I wasn't. Never mind. Um, yes, is there something you want? Why are you so interested in the Keepers? Keepers? I've got no interest in the Keepers. Don't get coy. I know what I saw. I, uh... I'm not so sure I should be talking to you about this. We're just talking. Is there something wrong with that? No. I guess it wouldn't hurt to tell you. I'm using a small scanner to gather readings on the Keepers. So far I've had mixed results. I find it difficult to get near the creatures. Why were you being so secretive about it, though? Well, technically we're not supposed to disturb the Keepers. I don't really think my scanning disturbs them, but the authorities might disagree. I'd like to do it more openly, but it's not really worth getting arrested over. I could help you out. I'm not worried about the authorities. I don't even know who you are. I'm Commander Shepard with the Alliance Military. Hmm. Well, I, I suppose I could use the help. You'll need this. It's the scanning device I developed. Activated each time you see a Keeper. All collected data will automatically upload to my database. I'll even send a few credits your way for each unique scan. I should get going then. Yes, I have much work myself. So long, and good luck with the scanning. Yeah, it's a way to get free credits and experience by the penny full, really. Not really anything dramatic. Uh, so now we gotta find our way to Korra's Den to find this Harkin guy. But that seems like something we could save for next time since we've been going for a while already. I don't know how this Let's Play is gonna go. I'm kinda just getting back from California now and wanting to play something that I was playing there. I still need to finish Mario RPG. I just, I don't know why I can't get into that game. The elevators always have some, some kind of side thing that you could skip. I can't believe the council ignored all the evidence against Saren. Saren's one of their best operatives. It's only natural they take his word over ours. Oh, so now we just chase leads while this smug Turian runs around with his gas troopers. That's politics, Chief. I hate politics. One thing I can agree on Ashley with, I hate politics too. Hey, another keeper. Look at that bug thing over there. What's it doing? Please do not disturb the keepers. Alright, well I gotta sort through our inventory and set things as junk and choose our best stuff. So let's go ahead and save. And, uh. 
thank you guys for watching. I don't know how frequent this is going to be, but yeah, I thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Take care.